Hello everyone! This week we're gonna talk about creating caves, adding them to the map, and test the traveling between surface and the underground. Hello and welcome to another Vulcanoid's Death Diary. Surface map is mostly done, and now it's time to create the caves. Same as with everything, we started with basic models that are used to find good proportions and set foundation for future iterations. The caves play important role, as they hold main quest objectives. Player will have to reach the caves and deactivate cog draw ships that cause the volcano eruptions. Caves in general will be considered a dangerous location, and enemy will be very active around here. Once the model was ready, we placed it to the main map to check if it fits the volcano. Then we tested the landing sites and placed all features to allow drawship traveling. Player won't be able to enter or leave the cave without a drawship. This is the top view of the cave with four landing sites and the main area in the middle where the quest objectives will be. And on this example, you can see the final location of the cave in the main map. Based on the old concept, we added the lava sources. They also hold quest objectives and player will have to disable them first before going to the volcano cave. Just to disable a source won't be enough, cogs will try to reactivate them. If player fails to defend the source, cogs will take over the location and player will have to repeat the source deactivation. All caves will be dangerous, and the difficulty will be set by the amount of enemy units. Also, if Vulcano erupts, everything in the caves will be destroyed as well as on the surface of the island. The first iteration of caves is done, and we are getting close to a complete map that has everything player needs to silence the Vulcano and win the game. There are still many things missing, like particle effects, sounds and better visual of the cave, but technically it's enough for playtesting. The main goal was to have caves in the game to see how it affects the gameplay and what new issues we will have to solve. Here is an example of traveling from surface to the cave and back. The video is sped up as it takes a while to travel between the locations. We also combined two views together to show you how ship leaves and enters the new location. We have a plan how to show you the landing animations even when you are inside the ship, so that you don't miss anything. Also, there will be warning signs and notifications when it's not safe to land, so don't worry. If careful, you won't get blasted away a few seconds after your drawship parks. That's all for this week's Dev Diary. Next time, we will be adding new ore types and drawship devices. If you have any questions or ideas, let us know in the comments below. Also, feel free to sign up for alpha testing, the link is in the description. Thank you for watching and see you next time.